Hi, my name is Matti Tahvonen and I'm giving you a short tutorial how to get started with NetBeans and its Vaadin plugin. The very first step to do is to go to netbeans.org and its download section and choose Java EE version of the IDE. Once you have NetBeans downloaded and installed, go to Tools menu and there choose Plugins. From the dialog, choose Available Plugins tabs and search Vaadin plugin. Check it and install it. To get started with the actual Vaadin development, create a new project and choose Vaadin Web Application Project. NetBeans will create you an application stub containing all commonly required stuff. UI class, widget set to prepare for add-on usage and all required dependencies. The project is based on Maven build, but all you anti-Mavenists should throw your anticipations to trash at this point. Thanks to NetBeans and its Vaadin plugin, you don't necessarily need to know anything about Maven. The good thing is that you will get a good build system ready for your CI server. Lots of build related settings can be found from project properties. Vaadin version, quit compiler settings and such all configure the Maven build behind the scenes. All Vaadin projects also have a specific Vaadin context menu for commonly used build targets. There is also an integrated Vaadin directory browser, so if you know what you are looking for, it might be a more handy way to choose the desired add-on. Instead of using the add button, I will show you a much cooler method to use our incredible community efforts. Let's open the UI class and start typing a class from an add-on like chart. Hit autocomplete and the magic really starts. The top suggestion is to instantiate a chart class from, from the Vaadin charts add-on. And the gotcha here is that it's not yet added as a dependency to the project. So the plugin is smart enough to suggest you classes from our add-ons, which are in our online catalog. The actual installation process is just a matter of accepting the license agreement. Dependency is downloaded behind the scenes and the required dependency is configured to a POM XML. Because Vaadin is fundamentally just a Java library, you will most of the time be using standard Java IDE features like autocomplete, integrated documentation and type hierarchy. To test and debug your application, you can use the pre-configured Jetty plugin or the integrated server support by NetBeans like we do here. As you probably know, after installation of add-on that has client-side counterparts, you will need to recompile the widget set. So at this point, it's time to get a cup of coffee. A minute later, IDE packages the bar file and deploys it to your development server. Next step would be to use your existing Java skills to create the actual application. If you change server-side Java classes, NetBeans will redeploy your changes in a matter of seconds. This was just a glimpse how NetBeans can help you in Vaadin development. As a Java framework, most of the other NetBeans features will help you as well. If you're planning to use NetBeans as your main tool, it's worth of checking out the collection of other tutorials from netbeans.org. Thanks for your interest and happy hacking!